So why is streaming a money losing pit? I personally have released dozens of songs on Spotify as well as released music and lots of content to our over 2.5 million followers on social media. And I'm very familiar with the payouts of these platforms. So I want you to uh, realize that this is not me going for clickbait. I'm gonna give you a solution that will give you exactly what you're looking for as far as making money. If you wanna keep going on streaming, that's up to you. <laughs> in order for me to break this down, I really need to show you a real life example that's outside of the industry. You see, most of what I've learned and what's been the most effective for us to grow our music businesses are things I learned in a real estate investing software or uh, over in a digital marketing company or, or an email company. I, like I've learned a lot of what we use in our music businesses from these other industries. And so I want you to look at this industry right now, and I'm gonna show you, this will all make sense, but Airbnb, $98 billion industry, okay? They connect the person who wants a hotel with the person who wants to rent out their place and make some money. Airbnb may have a very crappy house like this, and they also may have a very nice house, okay? And they don't have the house. They don't own any real estate. The person that's renting out their place may own one of these two houses. Now, I want you to imagine that Airbnb determines the value of all properties and what they are every time you rent one. And the person that wants a hotel and the person that wants to rent out their place has no say. They have nada that they can tell Airbnb. $300 per night for the terrible house, $300 per night for the amazing mansion. So if this was the case and you saw this with Airbnb, uh, in most cases, nobody would want to use the platform, right? Maybe some people that are getting uh, their house rented out uh, that's really bad for 300 bucks, they might be kind of happy, right? But most people won't pay 300. And also, the person that's renting out a house won't want to rent out their mansion for $300. So here's the deal. The person who wants a hotel, they would not be very happy having to pay $300 for the crappy house. And the person who wants to rent their place out, they're really not going to be happy that they got to uh, rent out their nice place for $300. Now, Airbnb, even so, if this was their business model, if this was what they said is they determine the value, they would still kind of, they would have worked for a certain amount of time. Like maybe they would have totally failed, but uh, people would probably still use the platforms here and there, right? This is Spotify. This is a lot of streaming. Because you're a music provider and you're providing music, right? And because you have these third parties in between, you and your listener, they are determining the value of what your music is worth. You're not getting to determine the value. They are saying what your music is worth. And the problem with this is that it's a $795 billion industry. And the music provider is not making a lot of money from streams. And the listener is sure as heck not making any money. In fact, they're paying money. So I'm going to give you an example in the music industry. And this is going to make it really clear. The person who wants an experience with the artist who wants to make some money. So the artist who wants to make some money, they might have a really, very, 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 very good um, crafted album. And they have great artwork, amazing music, really good. And then you have the uh, terrible music that is not good and doesn't have a lot of thought into it. But guess what? Right now, if you put these two on social media and you looked and you said, how much does each of one of them, uh, what is their value? This one is less than a third of a fraction of a penny, right? Less than a penny. And this one is also less than a fraction of a penny. So what gives? This is the streaming market, guys. So this is what I propose, right? 
you're going to find listeners who you turn into fans, make them an offer to support your music career online, and then sell music copies and subscriptions to those fans for a payday each and every month. So here's an example on the left. 782,000 listeners for around $800 per month. I want you to picture 782,000 people. That's a lot of people. And you're getting paid $800 per month. However, the same artist can go over here, sell copies of their music or subscriptions, early access to music, unreleased songs, maybe access to virtual or physical concerts that they're selling digitally, right? Merch product, physical or digital goods, $25 a piece. They sell 100, they're making $2,500, which is the equivalent of really over a million streams, over 2 million streams in most cases. So I want you to look at this and I, I want you to make the decision, right? You can put your music on streaming, absolutely do. I don't encourage people to take it off. In fact, I see it as flyer marketing. It's just not that valuable, but it can get people in the door, it can get views, which then later on turn into these fans, these music buying customers. But realize that if you don't have this direct consumer side of things, you're probably not going to monetize very much at all. Some platforms like Spotify or third parties have very low music sales and are super competitive. And on other platforms, the sales are higher. There are a lot of music buyers and competition is far less. So this is our last slide for today. I just wanna show you guys this basic breakdown here. But basically, if you get a thousand people to view your stuff on the streaming and views and plays uh, platforms, you can usually get about 10% of those followers, those people to then become an engaged music buying fan. And how do you do that? Well, 10% will become fans by, you can do pre-save campaigns where you get their email. You can offer them unreleased versions of songs or early access to music. Or maybe if you're a producer, that's sample packs or the kicks, the snares, the uh, instrumentals, the underlying music that they can get for free free plugins, free sounds, uh, maybe a group chat or what have you, they enter their email to get uh, into your music ecosystem, your community. Now you have email automation set up. Sure, you guys have gotten email automation before. Anytime uh, you're getting emails once a day or every week for multiple weeks or months, you can do the same thing with your new fans and engage them as listeners. Show them more of your content, show them more of what you put out. And also, as you can see, there's a screenshot, $9.99 for a music subscription. So you can go copies or music subscriptions. Um, I like the recurring revenue model. So you take this route, you get 100 subscribers. If we look at it, 100 subscribers, 10% of the fans. If you're able to do that and you're really able to um, engage them with those emails on automation, so you're creating content, you're having automation to then sell your music product, your subscriptions or product for 10 bucks a month, get up to a thousand bucks a month with a hundred people or get up to $10,000 per month with a thousand subscribers. This is the formula that artists are leaning towards and a lot of them are having success doing this monetarily success as opposed to relying on streams. And I find this to be one of the best ways to monetize your music. Now, for those of you that are interested in learning with me one-on-one -on -one and you'd like to take the guessing out of your music business, I'd encourage you guys to simply um, check out the second link in the description. You can work with me in depth and work with me on a weekly basis. We have seven plus hours of content we have the virtual music selling system, as well as working with me one-on-one -on -one as your mentor on a weekly basis. Guys, it's 75% off today, one-time payment. You get access to our group, as well as um, all of the funnels, the scripts, the email automation that you need to run your music business. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I earned your thumbs up and do consider subscribing. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.